these are the five reasons why people procrastinate now when you are looking at this procrastination model make sure you are looking at it from your self point of view and also from the point of view of when you have delegated things to people why have they not done it okay so the model applies just perfect for self and for others so when you don't get things done even after telling people you need to really evaluate what really was the problem and likewise to self also like there are times when you would have really decided to do certain things in life and it's an important goal and for some reason you don't achieve this goal it's a good time to evaluate ye hua kyun nahi hai for what reason has this not happened one of the reasons why people procrastinate is because it is too big the goal is too big it's like i need to lose 15 kilos of weight i need to buy that house it's a big it's a big goal and it's not something that can happen over 10 days or 5 days so people get demotivated or people lose track or they choose to procrastinate it's too big what do you do to a goal that is too big you break it down into small pieces small pieces when you break it down into small pieces as small as possible into the lowest common denominator what happens now when you break it down into small pieces some parts are achievable some parts can be delegated some parts can be completely deleted so you have a better view to see whether i really need to do all these parts in order to achieve the big goal so chunking down scooping down breaking down is a good step to begin when you think the goal is big similarly when you're dealing with people and if they feel that it's big to do break it down and give them step by step parts by parts second reason why people procrastinate is because it is too small and when i say too small it means that people may feel that this task is below them it doesn't align with their vision it doesn't align with their mission statement it doesn't align with who they are which means imagine you're hiring an engineer and you're telling that engineer record this or uh, take a print of this or maybe um, you know update my bank passbook now the point over here is they feel that they're capable of much more and you're giving them smaller things so people procrastinate things that is below them which is not aligned to who they feel they are and they say i don't need to do this i don't belong here so find out is one of the reason why people procrastinate what you give them or they don't do what you give them is it because it's below you in some way and then sometimes out of excitement we would uh, we are over ambitious and we would take on things as a personal goal or or people will take on from you saying that yes i can do that but then you realize that they don't know how to do this it's a skill issue they don't know how to do this and well there are sometimes people saying that i don't want to do this you know and these are two different issues why people don't achieve their goals or people procrastinate their goals or people don't do what you let them do or you tell them to do or it's also that they commit to you and then they don't do it why because a it's a skill issue it's over commitment the concern is they over committed something and the solution is skill right put them into skill training and the next is i don't want to do this now when someone says i don't want to do this indirectly it's an attitude issue right no attitude can be of two types it can be clarity that they know that i don't want to do this or it can be arrogance that well you are telling me so i don't want to do this it's important to find out are you pushing something on people that they don't want to do or are you the reason that's created the conflict because of which they're not doing it so it's important to know what the concern is and then to understand what the solution is well this is a skill issue this is is a communication issue sometimes yeah and one of the reason why people do not achieve their goal or one of the reasons why people don't complete the task that they've taken or given is because they believe it should not be done you see there is um, the, what they believe and the task is in opposition to each other imagine a smoker being told to put the poster of no smoking see the the belief system and the action is in opposition okay so going ahead from today every time you find a delegated work not done for you find out did you give them a work which was too big or was it too small or did you push a work on to them which they don't know a skill issue or did you push it in a way that you didn't get a feedback of communication of them being clear that it's something that they didn't want to do it or is there a clash or a conflict created because of which they choose not to do it because it's you who's communicated that oh well the last is was there a belief clash
the five important filters markers like a litmus test to know why was that goal not achieved why was that communication left incomplete why was the task not completed